Hey, good morning. Thank you for your patience. Uh, got the truck in line here, so I just wanted to just shoot you a video exactly how it's sitting on my lot. Um, front valence has a little bit of scratches. For the most part, it looks pretty good. Checking that front chrome bumper, that looks really good. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Just checking out the front here. You got a, a ding here. Tires look great. Really good there. You got your mirrors, they are uh, power extend, power fold, power mirrors in general. You got that back 10 way power seat on both sides. The back part of that trigger is what raises and lowers the seat. You also do have the book inside here. You have your code inside there. It's like he never cracked the book open, even. A um, little bit of storage up on top, too. Everything looks really clean inside here. It should, right, with such low miles. Um, you got the Husky liners for this, which are pretty nice. You have your seats that flip up. You can lock your seats down. You can put a gun in there or whatever um, and lock those seats down, too. There's a lock. You can just lock it with your key on the side there. You got 110 and a couple USBs back there. You also have a 12-volt back there. And there's two different storage compartments. You can lock this one separately if you want. And then it all does come down nice and flat if you don't want anything. It does have a pretty flat floor, so if you're moving boxes, things like that, it's pretty easy. Um, that's the idea, at least. Tires look great again. Got a little bit of surface rust underneath there, but I don't think it looks bad at all. Back bumper looks great. That is Ford system, so you have um, that fifth wheel right from Ford. They put the plate on and everything. You got your fifth wheel lights in there. You also do have your LEDs in the bed here. There is another button up in front for those as well. Um, then I love this tonneau cover. Fairly expensive, hard tonneau cover, but they are very, very nice. You have that dynamic hitch assist on your um, camera there too. Um, you also have another camera up on top here. That's your fifth wheel camera. So if you are doing fifth wheel, and that comes in handy. Other than that, you got your door code there. You got a few more controls on your driver's side. You got your memory seating on the driver's side. That's how you control your mirrors. You got LEDs on each um, side mirror. Those are all your lighting. So you got your fog lights, automatic lights, your foot pedals are there. Parking brakes down below there. There we got the miles there. Um, you got your digital instrument cluster, which is nice. Start her up right away. A lot of different things you can see on your instrument cluster there. Most people leave it on digital speedometer and then kind of go through and see if they need anything else. Put your navigation on here. That's where your fifth wheel camera is. Um, engine brake up on top here. Traction control. You got all your normal heated and cooled seats and stuff there. A couple of USBs in there as well. Smart charging USB ports. That's for your uh, tunnel cover. Well, it looks like you do have a reducer back here too. I didn't see that underneath the seat there. 
Um, power sliding back window. Brake controller, all that stuff. So, um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything else I can help with. This one is loaded, so I definitely can uh, go over any techie stuff if you have any techie questions too. Thank you.